Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I want to show you quickly how I make a radius on a jig to create the bent deck boards that we make. And if you want to learn more about how to bend decking and how to create jigs and how to do it from A to Z, go check out Dr. Dex Masterclass. If you like what you see today, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when we're putting out fresh content. So the first thing you need to know is your radius. What is a radius? A radius is a half a distance of a circle, okay? So it's from the center of a circle to the outside edge. As far as our purpose, we're gonna go to the inside edge of the deck board that we're trying to bend. Okay, so if we, ha if we are on a 12 foot six radius to the outside of the deck, then I'm gonna make my jig 12 foot half inch because a deck board is five and a half inches wide that would get us close enough so what I have here is a quick way for you to create a jig I'm gonna show you how I do it I'm gonna show you how I draw it out on a piece of plywood and we'll go from there so what you need is a way to pivot you need a pivot point so what I have here is a pin stuck in a footing block and a piece of metal with a hole drilled in it to use as a very large compass this just makes it easier and more accurate than if I try to drag a tape measure around this circumference, which I've done so many hundreds and hundreds of times. So you can do it that way, or you can do it this way. It doesn't matter to me. Whatever makes it easier for you, or however you feel, you can get it done. So what I have is I have a 12-foot radius. I'm going to draw out on a, on a piece of 1-inch thick plywood, which is right here. And... I have my footing block, which shouldn't move. It's pretty heavy, it's gonna stay right there. And I'm just gonna take my Sharpie and draw a line on this piece of plywood, okay? Plywood's pretty much set. You don't wanna move this plywood until you're done drawing your radius. So I'm just gonna take my pen, I use a lot of Sharpies, and go along and just trace this radius. Now remember, this is the inside of my deck board. This is where the deck board's gonna go. This is where my form's gonna go, okay? This is a lot easier than using a tape measure. Sometimes when I have a second hand, I'll go ahead and just use a tape, but this is really nice. If I wanted to keep this for shorter radiuses, I could drill extra holes in here and use it that way as well. Okay, so there you go. There's your 12 foot radius. Is that easy? Now we want to create a way to be able to bend the board against that radius. So what I have here is a piece of one inch ripped Azek that I'm gonna to use to put against here like so. We're just gonna screw it down right to the plywood. So I'm using some two inch screws, construction legs, to screw this down. So now I'm gonna do that. I happen to just have some in my pocket right here. And you can use these over and over and over. These are screw products products. They're just a star drive, T30, use them multiple times. And all you gotta do is just chase your line. And this can apply, I've done four foot radiuses like this. I've done six foot, eight foot, does not matter. That screw might've been too long. It looked like it raised my plywood. Nope, okay, so what happened is, it's driving down really deep. Sometimes what you gotta do is you either make new jigs or strips or possibly use a new location. There we go. Because this is one inch thick, these are two inches, this is one inch, inch and an eighth. So we only have about an eighth inch of play. All right, so now once you have this side of your form done, so remember, your deck board's going right here. So this is on the inside of the form. You're gonna take another one of these and put it on the outside of where your deck board's gonna be. And usually what I do is I either use the exact same width board or I might cut a board a 16th bigger than the width of the board I'm trying to bend. And then I'll, I'll put a, a spacer in here and I'll start attaching another strip on the outside of that as well. That's why I like to keep this rail in enough so I have the, enough for five and a half inches plus another strip. And then once you have both strips in, you're ready to go. 
And that's basically all there is to it, to creating your own jig, to bend deck boards. So if you like what you saw, please click that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon if you want to be notified every time we're putting out fresh content. And to learn everything you need to know about how to bend deck boards, go visit Dr. Deck's Masterclass. Thank you very much. Have a great day.